many of the problems in our society are really due to a malfunction of the brain. In more general terms, you know, all of these mysterious psychiatric illnesses like schizophrenia, Alzheimer's, they're clearly not a problem with, you know, one cell type or one part of the brain. It's something about the system that's awry. I remember very distinctly when I was a kid, around the age of 10, it was the first time I ever became curious about anything. And, you know, I woke up one morning and I just suddenly asked myself, does space go on forever and ever or does it stop? And then a few years later, I learned about, you know, the philosopher Kant and how he wondered about the same question, essentially, where does our perceptive space come from? And it's an idea that, you know, it's this, um, this pure intuition. So the question that fascinates me is that question that first got me interested, which is how does the brain represent space right? and all these objects? How do we take all these sensory inputs that are kind of meaningless and put them into a meaningful percept? We go see a mountain and it looks so beautiful and so vast, right? And yet that mountain is represented by this you know, clump of neurons in your brain. And how is that possible, right? Somehow these neurons are measuring the size of that mountain and they're representing the spatial relationships. If we want to have a deep understanding of the brain, we have to understand at a deep level how objects are represented. It's a huge problem, right? Where do you start? Almost all parts of the brain are involved in some way. Um, 